All right, I figured it'd be easiest just to make a quick video to let you guys know how I'm doing. I've had a couple like medical things happen recently. Uh, the last one was a beaver attacked me when I was in the river a few days ago. Came up from behind and never saw it coming. Grabbed a hold of me and just started biting me like crazy. Uh, I went ahead and killed it and as it turned out, it had rabies. 100% had rabies. I took it to the health department and they tested it. Now, I've already had the pre-exposure vaccination for rabies. I had that done like 10 years ago. So all I have to do now is get two shots in the arm spaced over three days. And I've already had one. It made me a little sore, but, you know, it's not too bad. But if, you hadn't, if I hadn't had that done, had the pre-exposure, there's a lo much longer process I would have had gone through with a lot more shots. Now, I just want to tell you, anytime you're out and you get bitten by a wild animal, a mammal, especially if it's a raccoon, fox, or bat, but any other uh, mammals uh, included, be careful about rabies, because rabies is out there, at least you know in the United States, I don't think you have in Great Britain, but it's all over the world. And if you get bitten and you start showing signs of rabies, you have almost zero chance of living through it. Up until 2003, no one had ever lived through rabies uh, that we know of. Now since then, there's been like a dozen people who have lived through it because the uh, doctors put you in a coma and do a bunch of stuff, okay? But out of that dozen people that have lived through rabies now, 59,000 people every year die of it. 59,000. So in other parts of the world, it's really, really rampant. So it's a serious disease and you need to take it seriously. So if you do get ever get bitten by any type of warm-blooded animal, um, call your health department or your doctor and let them know and let them make a decision about ra you know getting the rabies vac uh, not vaccination but the rabies shots. Uh, it's a very serious disease. I wasn't really aware rabies you know showed up in beavers very much. They're rodents, they're like squirrels or mice. Uh, but apparently they do get rabies, and there's quite a few quite a few incidents looking online of uh, beavers attacking people. So that's one. Should be good to go on that six years you know some people take up to six years to develop rabies can you believe it six freaking years um but anyway so that was one thing another thing was my hands now this happened several weeks ago in one of my videos my hands were like all shrunken up and it was like there was no meat on them it was like being in water and how you know your fingers the tips you know uh, shrink up like it was like that times a hundred and it hurt uh, come to find out what it was is that earlier in that day i had been working on my brakes on the jig rig here uh, replacing the calipers and I was covered with uh, brake fluid because I didn't wear gloves and apparently the brake fluid does something to your skin in, when in that when you are submerged your hands in water afterwards it, it sucks like the moisture out of your hands or something out of your skin um, I'm not exactly sure how it happens but that's what it was from is from having my hands covered brake brake break fluid for a couple hours they mean in the water for a couple hours and it was really scary i mean most people said eh, it just looks normal it wasn't normal trust me um it was really kind of weird but that's all it was all right so we had the rabies um fine with that fine with my hands almost got hit by lightning not too long ago a couple of days ago i was out on the river i was actually scuba diving in fact the video is going to be coming out real soon and a storm came up and i saw a flash underwater <laughs> A little noise. So I came up, got up on the bank, and as just as I started making the video, uh, a lightning bolt crashed like in the trees right above me. Um, that was pretty scary too. So I've had my three things, I guess, three close calls. So hopefully the rest of the summer will be smooth sailing. Uh, but yeah, so that's about it. Tons of great videos coming up. I really haven't had the time to edit them. That's the problem. This time of year, I got to get in the river as much as I possibly can because the season is so short. In fact. You know, it's mid-August now, so by mid-September, it's going to be getting really kind of getting too cold to enjoy it. I mean, I can still go, but it won't be fun because it'd be cold. Yeah, so that's about it. I mean, I'm doing well. Uh, I got the chig rig packed. I'm ready to go uh, traveling and make some cool videos all over the country. I don't know where I'm going to end up, but hopefully they'll get on the road. Maybe not all over the country just yet. I'll probably just stay on the East Coast for right now since it's nice and warm and summery here. But uh, lots of good videos coming. A lot of them to edit yet but they're coming i promise thanks for joining me and sorry i did not like jump on uh, a video earlier about my hands i did make a bunch of comments answered a bunch of people's questions in the comment sections uh, saying i was okay but i know no one reads those things so uh but all is well
We'll see you on the next one. Great video coming tomorrow night. I think it's a lightning video, in fact. We'll see you then, I hope. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from.